For more than four decades, Comic-Con has been celebrating as well as creating awareness of and appreciation for comics and the popular arts. Recently, Comic-Con has been generating excitement over its collaboration with the San Diego Public Library. I don't want to keep saying I'm geeking out, but it's probably safe to say that, that I've, I've drank the Kool-Aid and I'm totally geeking out. And for good reason. <laughs> right now we are about to open the art of Comic-Con. It's unprecedented access to art that is actually owned by Comic-Con. It's art that was created over their 45-year history. We do have archives, and it's everything from uh, old photographs to old uh, exhibit uh, floor plans to uh, covers of our souvenir book, our events guides, things of that nature. In some cases, original art that went into those publications. We have collaborated with them, gone through some of this amazing material, and really picked out some pieces that highlight some of the history of Comic-Con um, and comic making and popular arts. I'm a sucker for process pieces and getting to actually kind of see the artist's hands. So I really love the Babs Tar Batgirl that we have because you get to see it from sketch all the way through where she started doing the digital coloring of it. This show has over 60 artists and a lot of those are these wonderful little sketches that artists did for the souvenir guides and there's so much diversity in them. People are gonna really like this show. It speaks to such a wide audience and I, I'm really excited that it will be up all summer. So it'll be up through August 30th. Cartoonist and Comic-Con favorite Sergio Aragonis will be at the opening reception for the exhibit this Saturday at the Ninth Floor Art Gallery of the San Diego Central Library. Beth Accomando, KPBS News.